James here, one of the Penny Bricks co-founders. This is a quick video to show you how to connect your bank account up to zero. Once you've logged in, to do this, you need to go to accounting, bank accounts, then add bank account. So you click in here and then just type the name of your bank account in. So I'm going to look for a Starling account. Starling Bank, your bank should pop up. Click that and then literally from here, it's just a case of following the instructions here. You'll need to type in the account number, your limited company name, um, then just, just follow it through. One of the questions they will ask is from what date do you want to bring the transactions in from? Um, our advice here is if you can go back as far as you can. So I think the maximum you can go back is 12 months. Um, if you set your bank account up before that, just go back right to day one if you can. Uh, then, yeah, literally just follow, follow the instructions through. It should be fairly straightforward. Uh, once you've done that, if you go back to the dashboard view, your the account that you've just connected should be top left here and it should say the name of the account and it should have the account number if you need to connect uh, you can connect multiple accounts up to zero so if you need to do it again again just go accounting and follow exactly the same process this the net the other accounts that you can actually just appear on this dashboard view below so they'll be listed down here um, and that should be it i think that there's there's one more step that's sensible to do um, if you if you just Google connect, then your the name of your bank account to zero. All, all of the banks have a slightly different way of integrating with zero, so it's good to just check from your bank's perspective uh, that we've completed the full process. Starling, as an example, if we go into here, and then. Uh, you can you can read the blurb, but there's an extra step that you actually need to go and do from the back end. So you've got to log into your Starling app, um, and there's if you follow these steps, you need to connect it via Starling as well. Um, it's just one of those things that all, all the banks have a slightly different way of doing it. It's good to just check how your banks work. Some some banks I know, I think HSBC might might be an example. Um, you can do everything from zero, and there's nothing to do on the bank. Um, that's it. Once that's connected up, um, you should be you should be good to go. If you're a Pennybrooks client, um, we'll be dealing with next steps in our kickoff call. Thanks for watching.